hello and uh, welcome again from shiv shankar dial on behalf of libreprogramming.org i welcome you to this part of c programming tutorial which is going to be a very interesting problem now this is known as maximum subarray problem and you can read its description at uh, the url given here in fact uh, i have open here this problem was first uh, given by ulf grenander that's how i would pronounce it a difficult name for me being an indian and the solution was initially given by j kadan so <coughs> in fact the algorithm has also come from this page only it's not my original algorithm it's just implementation in c so how it works so let's first discuss what is the problem now consider a sequence of arrays let's say 1 2 and 3 so it will have how many uh, sub arrays let's first consider only one element array let's say the element is 1 only one element in the array then we have got one sub array that is one itself now consider the there are two elements 1 and 2 so how many sub arrays there are there now there are three sub arrays one itself is a sub array two is another and one and two combined is another sub array now let's say there are three elements 1 2 and 3 then how many sub arrays are there now there are six sub arrays when we talk of sub arrays we are talking of continuous elements in the array not of discontinuous so the sub arrays will be 1 will be 1 2 will be another 3 will be third 1 2 will be fourth 2 and 3 will be fifth and 1 2 3 will be sixth note that 1 and 3 will not be a sub array because they are not continuous 2 is in between so here for example i am taking a 10 element sub array and uh, <coughs> i take input here in scanf then i declare two variables max sum so far initialized to 0 and then max sum ending here which is given the value of a0 now we iterate over the array so we check if the max sum ending here is less than 0 that is the zeroth element is less than 0 or not now if it is less than 0 we discard it and take a1 into max sum ending here if that sum is not less than 0 then we say max sum ending here is ai now there are two possibilities ai may be positive may be negative but irrespective of that we add it now notice say for example your <coughs> first element is say 1 so max sum ending here is not less than 0 but then a second element is minus 2 then max sum ending here will become minus 1 and at the end we check if max sum ending here is greater than the max sum so far or not and if it's not the case then max sum ending here is not assigned to max sum so far so this is the entire logic of this program so let's now say run this for once you should read this description here also it will be much better if you read this entire thing this is the c++ example this is the c do code and this actually comes under dynamic uh, programming uh, uh, category this problem so let us run this program so we say make array is 8 it is already compiled i guess so now let us run this although this is an advanced problem for beginners but this is so interesting that i just couldn't resist it so i say let's start with 4 and then minus 2 then we say 4 5 6 and then we say minus 7 or let's say minus 1 and then again we say 2 then again we we'll say minus 3 minus 8 minus 4 so you see it says maximum sum is 18 now see how it is 18 4 minus 2 is 2 and this becomes how much 
17 minus 1 16 plus 2 so the sum of this much is 18 so you see how it works even though it will become minus it is the sum is 2 here it still proceeds and adds it to 4 as long as your sum is positive this works well, this is a very interesting problem this is uh, one of the finest examples of dynamic programming considering that it is so simple and uh, I would request you to look at this code carefully and try to analyze it and uh, that's it for now uh, I'll see you in next part thanks for watching the video